Oh, man, it's an early morning this morning. Oh, I need to get to work. Let's work on these finances real, real quick. All right, so it looks like we got some rewards. Ooh, another bail. Hmm, there we go. Uh, finances... Uh, accounting. Ooh, wow! Look at all that invoice money there. Bills, 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 bills. Ooh, what, what do I need? Invoices. Oh, we're paid. Oh, I do want to. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I uh, which harvester I really want to go after. And that it's that class Lexion. So don't be surprised if one day I uh, am driving the yellow class Lexion. Ooh, April 2020 pack. These eggs are sheltered in place and have hang out on FSN. Show your love and support of FSN and earn an unlimited unlim edition profile badge. Mm, that's cool. So there is a piece of land right here. So 67, which uh, they don't show the piece of land, but 67, if you see right there, it's right where I'm circling right there. Uh, but... To be honest, I don't know if we want to pick that up just because we don't really have the time and effort. We need some more help before we pick some another piece of land like that up. But it would be nice to have another piece of land. But I think uh, we're kind of maxed out on like uh, full-fledged uh, work constantly. Uh, I'm going to check to see if Greece is... Uh... Ooh, Greece. Yes, definitely fill that order. All right, we sold a little bit of soybeans there at Greece, just a tiny bit, only 900 liters, and we got some more in Venezuela. Venezuela, filter that. Oh no, nothing selling in Venezuela. All right, done with finances for the day. If you see up there, we have a whopping sixteen thousand dollars. So I did early this morning. I fertilized the field right across the way uh right across oh farm boy is already here that guy is a worker already here to help us out man that's nice uh we did fertilize this field real quick and i took a load i ran into town quick with our tinder and filled it up with fertilized because we're running a little bit low on the farm so that thing is completely full of fertilizer so we got plenty of fertilizer on this farm problem is is we got fields ready to harvest so I think we're gonna go right in I think I want to har first start harvesting the pasture field so I'm gonna go get the harvester quick get it warmed up and ready and filled up all right it's all warmed up I'm gonna get it filled up over here quickly All right, so we got everything out here. So we're gonna full fledge. We got Farm Boy, he's helping. He's right behind me right now. We're gonna start in on our pasture land here. Ooh, gotta watch out for this uh, Dodge truck. Don't wanna hit that. I don't think Farm Boy will help us out anymore. That's close. 40 foot head isn't big until you're trying to go through your farmyard. Oh, well. Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to get around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Might have to bring the old truck. Do you have a plow mount on the front I of that dodge? Do indeed. Can you uh, park that plow somewhere else? Alright, farm boy's gonna move the plow out of there. That's nice of him. And hopefully I can fit through these two trees. Ooh. Might have to get the old chainsaw out here. Oh, oh man. A few branches won't hurt this. So this is our last of our oak field right here. So... This was uh, last little field to, well, I guess, no, our new field was our last field to be planted. So this was planted last winter. So 
that. The canola is a spring canola planted in the spring. there farm boy how's that little blue handling them trailers oh well, it's handling fine right now we'll see how she handles here in about i don't know a couple loads oh i better fill up your front trailer first otherwise you might really have some problems there yeah a lot of weight in the back I would be... get over here so there we go yep we'll see if you have any issues just uh if you have problems going uphill, just start going downhill. It's that easy. True. <laughs> yep, so probably the good thing is we're starting out on this field other than uh, the far field. So there is, as long as he can make it into the field, he could probably get out because it's all downhill. So, but uh, Little Blue is definitely in for a big challenge today. He ha they have two wagons hooked up to Little Blue. Uh, he does have some wheel weights on the back up there, so it's just probably more does he have enough in the arse to get it going. We'll see. We got front weights too, I guess, too. Yep, so we, we took the loader off, put the front weights on. The only reason we're doing this is uh, we have to start planting like right after the harvester so the old uh, 8R has to be put to work planting can't be uh, can't be running the wagon so it would be nice if we had like a 8130 on the farm to uh, help out with uh, the tractor selection that's the worst thing about here is we just don't have the tractors be productive in our farm but we're making by what we have right now definitely in the works of looking for another bigger tractor but to be honest we're leasing our harvesters we're leasing our head here so it would be nice to have a full-time harvester I'm not sure if I want this harvester or not yet so kind of leaning more towards that uh more Americanized green, if you know what I mean. But this harvester is good. It just uh, has a few flaws to it. It's really hard hooking up to this McDon head. So, but it runs the McDon head pretty good. It floats just right. So, a little bit worried going around that pond there. Don't want to get stuck around the edges of that pond. That's definitely uh, not a good thing getting stuck on there. Yeah, I'm looking at the plan right now and getting all greased up for you. All right, yeah, that's good. So uh, we plan on planting... Uh, ooh, wow, I almost hit that tree. Uh, we plan on planting soybeans right into this field. So we're trying to double crop. I don't know if we'll get all of our land double crop just because we got a lot of land to go through and that's hard getting all that uh, double cropped in. So all of our... Uh, 
land other than what's already harvested and planted is ready to harvest. So our canola, our wheat, and our oats is all ready to harvest. All right, now's the challenge. We're gonna go around this pond. We planted all the way up to the water line on this pond. So the pond actually came up and height a little bit. So a little bit challenging. If you could see some of that uh, oats down there isn't, it's still not fully, it's still living off that pond water. Still a little green. You don't wanna get stuck around here, that's for sure. This is definitely a heck of an angle. This is a mighty uh, drop bridge or drop uh, bank here, a side here, so prevents it from going to flood out the farmyard. Not stuck yet. That's why I ended up getting the tracks on this. Hopefully we could float across these muddy fields here. I'm sure you already know this farm boy, but I would probably stay my distance away from that pond. It's probably pretty uh, mucky over there. Alright, I'll try to. Hopefully she don't slide down here. Yeah, I think uh, a little blue. A little blue is pretty impressive, but I don't know about that much putting a limit, so that would probably not be easy. You definitely have to get the 8R out there to pull low blue out. I wouldn't go up here with any more blue than I have right now. Yeah, that's... Don't know, this is the first time that we're pulling the wagons loaded for attempting to pull the wagons loaded with low blue. Not many acres over here in the pasture land, so it's going pretty quick. It's definitely a challenge with the harvester because it's at multiple angles. So, a lot of flexing of the head uh, going, so hopefully we're not shooting any seeds or uh, any oats out the back. So, gotta get this harvested so the neighbor's horses don't stomp it down like our other field. Good thing about this field is uh, it's got a fence around it, so we don't, probably don't have to worry about that. You ever see blood on there? It looks like you might slide down the hill there almost. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh, challenging running the, the head. You definitely have to have your thumb on the head height. Even if you have it on auto leveling. Oh, you're running the ground if you don't. Yeah. And two, there's so many trees, buildings so close. Uh, it's a little challenging, but it's definitely worth getting the extra acres in planted. Yeah, the plan is all ready to go, so as soon as we're done here and move the gravity wagon to the combine out of here, I'll be in here planting this. Sweet. Yep, so Farm Boy, he's our helper out, so he's helping over here, so I'll probably continuously harvest on the far field, so I'll go right into wheat. I'll have to switch the combine over quickly to wheat. It's not very hard. It's not many changes from oats to wheat anyways. Just a little bit of in-cab adjustment. But uh, then uh, I'll have to be on my own running the, the little gravity wagons. Can I get in on this? Oh, I'm pretty long. Uh... Yeah, you'll make it. Shouldn't take me too long with that other field. Our goal today is obviously to get that other field 
harvested and then uh, hopefully plant both these so we'll have uh, at least here by the house we'll have two three fields if you want to call them three fields that are ready for double crops I don't think I think it's a little wishful thinking trying to get that canola in get soybeans planted on time got a lot of acres to turn around here this is tricky thinking one of these days I'm gonna cut down one of these trees to make it a little bit more simple but to do that I'm gonna have to get a uh, tree cutting permit so right now ooh, I just realized how are we gonna get across yeah I was wondering that myself thinking because I can't go over there ooh, let's think about this so I can't so we need to go across so them tracks and everything will definitely destroy I think I'm just gonna make a path so we'll I'll figure I'll out you. where the most narrow so probably like right here because even if we fall like we did when we planted the tree line over there I have a head on so I can't do that so yeah I think because right here yeah just we'll cut we'll go right across that way the planter everybody can go right there so all right let's see if I can make it around got seed bags everything got it this farm is very active right now oh, let's see it's pretty active time here too the what it's very it's a very active time of year yep it's very well all right so I'm just barely running still on the grass here so this is Definitely at an angle right here, so we'll run right across here. There we go. And then uh, go right into. I gotta make some changes here to my fans, separator height, everything. Fix that quickly. Should all right. Go right into harvesting our wheat. There we go. Looks like uh, we're getting pretty good. Our end bin tank. Not getting many uh, foreign objects in there. Most of the grain, that's good, so harvesting our wheat crops. So this is our only field of wheat we have. We've got a canola field, we had two fields of oats. We've got one soybean field planted on the other side of this, so busy bees here. full with this harvester we did not make it all the way around so we're gonna have to run the harvester all the way around think far farm boy you over there planting right now yeah I'm just trying to deal with this pond right now oh yeah yeah this pond's definitely a challenge especially for that uh, planter it doesn't really uh, flex the easiest so not gonna lie it's not actually doing that bad not gonna we're running around. We, 
we got to deal with the tree branches overhanging our field and make sure we don't run over any more of the wheat crop as we need to. Uh, farm boy dropped the truck off over there, so we're just probably end up going around the opposite direction. And then hopefully once we have a couple rounds around this field, we can start in and start harvesting up and down rows. That way it'll be easier for us to uh, run this harvester by ourselves. Quite a ways around here, all the way around to the truck, so, which is good. You want to not be able to make it all completely around your field for getting good yield off this field. Just try not to get any uh, cab wheat on top of the cab, so. Oh yeah, he has both of them over here. Ooh, now we gotta figure out how we're gonna unload. I think we're gonna go... Probably should have left a little space in my bin here so I could harvest a little bit around here, but oh well. I didn't go too, too close to the pond. I left there's... We probably should plant some grass around it so that yeah. It's not washing away. It's not worth putting seeds in there if they're not going to germinate, especially if it's always yeah. going to be high. We'll see if uh, Velocity Blue uh, F-350 over here can pull this uh, cart by itself. So Might have a little bit of problems getting it uphill, but should pull it. It's a lot of weight for a little uh, truck, though. That's for sure. So we basically we cut the field in half because we went around one inch and then we went around the other way and we're already full again. So this field is yielding really good. The problem is is uh, it's just taking forever because we keep on having to run all the way back. So would be nice to get a grain cart one day, but I don't think it's really feasible just for the price wear and tear grain cart would be nice one day and two if you're just utilizing wagons you just as well pull them into the field so oh looks like uh, farm boys headed over here it's probably not going to be impressed by our production literally only have one round around this whole field so far. Man, Farm Boy, it feels like I'm a little light or uh, slanting down to the left hand side here. Oh no. Uh oh. I think our tire back here might be getting a little flat. We might have to take this up to the shop, look at it. I'm hearing a hiss. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. I don't know if I got... Oh man, that's gonna slow us down if we gotta take that in and get that tire fixed. Yeah, it will. Oh man. So we're gonna... Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get that checked out. Good thing we're unloading it. So we're gonna... It's unloaded now, so I'm gonna take this back up to the farm yard. 
hopefully try to fix this tire. Yeah, try to run real slow on this uh, back tire so we're not gonna take it off the rim. Real slow, limp it back to the nice flat ground up here. Alright, so, man, you gotta get this tire off, it's definitely flat, so uh, I'm gonna get the impact gun, get the air compressor, might need to put put the loader back on a T6 here for a little, little blue, I mean, it's not T6, it's a little blue, so put the loader back on there and hopefully we can pick this up take this wheel off I'll run it into town get it fixed right away and then uh, hopefully get started all right I'm gonna line it up he's uh, gonna guide me in here a little bit to the left yeah keep on coming straight on keep on going just a little bit farther all right oh he hooked us up all right so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna try to lift this uh, Harvester up by the rear end. We'll see if low blue. I mean low blue is Definitely getting a lot of use Today that's for sure Yeah, I think you got all the weight off of it All right oh. Put some blocks wood under there for it. Okay. All right. All right. all right I'll get the impact back over here. Take this off I'll get the truck over here to lift, the thing, lift that tire up. All right Alright, so the tire's ready to roll off here once we, uh, truck gets back over. There we go, that's good right there. Pop this tire up right there. Lift it on up. Alright, shut that tailgate. Alright, we are ready. You wanna ride down with me quickly to the co-op, get this fixed? Alright, we're here. I'm gonna head down there to the shop quickly, try to get this fixed, and then uh, head back. We're just heading back into the farm, so that took about two hours to get that tire fixed up. Uh, we ended up having to put an all new tire on there, which uh, don't know exactly how that's gonna work with the leased item, so don't know who exactly pays for it, but we'll figure that out later. We need to get back to harvesting. When we went by the house, Farm Boy was doing the pee pee dance. He he, he definitely had too many uh, soda pops, so he was a little bit needed to go and stop and get a bathroom break. All right, Farm Boy is back from his uh, pee break there, so uh, let's get this uh, tire put back on here. Get the presser. All right. All right, that should be on. Uh, Foam boy, you want to lower that down here quickly? There we go. There we go. Looks like it's holding air. Definitely don't hear any hissing anymore. I think we're ready to go. Now that took two hours out of the day. I think we can still get everything planted and harvested that we wanted to, but definitely going to have to uh, get at it, that's for sure.
All right, we're loading this last little wagon up. Looks like a farm boy might have had a little bit of issues over there with the tractor. Hopefully that John Deere is running good. Can't have that thing break down. We'd have the whole operation go down. Uh, yeah, I was having some computer issues. I think I got them done. Sweet. I think uh, Beansy's working on that. I'm going to take this load up to the grain bins to unload it here quick. And little blue. Start little blue up. We'll let him move out of the way quickly so we can take a run at that hill. Come on, Little Blue. Let's see if Little Blue can get it done over here. Ooh, yeah, Little Blue's pulling these wagons. Surprised that we're slipping a little bit, but it's getting it done. Now the real challenge is going for you, the hill. Oh, yeah, this hill's not going to be easy. Come on, Little Blue. Oh, you can do it, little blue. Oh, man. Oh, we're slowing down. We are slowing down. Trying not to destroy much of our uh, bean crop here, but... Ooh, man. Yep, really slowing down. Oh, I think we got it. I think little blue got it done. Blue power it is. We got a lot of blue power here. We got a Ford. We got a, uh, an old style Ford, if you want to call it. New Holland, which bought out Ford. Alright, we're going to unload these wagons here. So, what are we? Is this, uh, this will be three wagon loads we had in here so far. Plus another wagon load of oats that we unloaded in here from doing our little pasture field. That's already planted. Getting it done today. Even though we had a major breakdown, we're still getting it done. We have a lot of uh, this remaining field to go yet. Hopefully we'll get it done. But uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you later over here on the FSN Multiplayer Tournament. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.